Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. What are we doing? We're good. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. Do, do. Let me know if uh, the audio is coming through all good as well. Let's just check it actually. Just check it. It'd be easy, wouldn't it? Uh, we are going to play some Final Fantasy fourteen. I was just grinding a little bit of a uh, Honkai Star Rail off stream actually. Um, and we are going to do... Some more of that, maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. But today, bit of Final Fantasy fourteen. Tomorrow, I mean later on tonight, we're going to be checking out No Rest for the Wicked as well. That should be a fun, hopefully. Um, and then tomorrow daytime, I think I'm going to play some containment, um, Snowbreak containment zone. Um, it's had a new update, uh, so we'll check that out as well. They've gone full horny mode as well, so... Uh, you know, for science, we're going to check it out. The gameplay update does look like it's improved quite a bit as well, so should be fun. Hey, Gremlin, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? You're good. It's good to see you. Oh, let me just check, actually, um, to see if we've got transcoding options. Let me just turn that down a little bit. It might be a little bit loud. Uh, where are we? Jet led transcoding options. Yeah, we got them. We got them. We got them. That's all good then. How you doing anyway, Gremlin? You're all good. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're all sorted. I think everything's okay. Alright, let's get the game booted up then, shall we? Get OBS sorted as well so you guys can see the gameplay. I'm fine just eating dinner right now with my sis. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, it's been okay, actually. Um, went uh, to the gym this morning, leg day. I didn't eat well yesterday, though, so it was like not 100% session. Probably about a 75%, but I did 100% of that 75%, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I just had some food as well. I had some chicken this morning and some salmon as well. So, uh, that's nice. Got myself a protein bar, some water. Probably have a whey shake in a bit. Everything's doing all good, man. We're going to upgrade this game as well soon, actually, because we're playing on the free version at the moment. But we're going to upgrade and uh, get... The uh the paid for version. Here we go. All right, cool. You guys should be able to see that on YouTube. Uh, you won't see it on Twitch just yet. Hey, Voxer, welcome to the stream. How's he going? You get too hangry, right? Feel ya. Bro, you had to go shopping yesterday, though. The, I, I ended up having meatballs and uh, noodles for tea, which wasn't, like, the best tea for me. But it wasn't worse. The, the meatballs were really nice. Well, I usually like to have a high-protein tea and quite low carbs because um, of training. But, yeah. What's going on, Warrior? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Test tomorrow on finals next week. I'm going to die. Ooh, well, good luck. I'm sure you'll smash it, man. You'll smash it. You'll be coming back in a couple of weeks going, dude, I killed it. I killed it. I believe in you. You got this. See, I'm gonna. Uh, I was gonna upgrade just, but I thought I'll do it after or tomorrow. So uh, I think I'll buy the expansions and then just start paying the. Well, once you bought the uh, the expansions, you have to start paying the subscription. But I want access to PvP, because I don't think you'll access to PvP on the free version. So we're going to try and unlock our mount today as well. We need to get to a specific um, MSQ mission. And then uh, I think we have to join a grand company, which I think is part of one of the missions. And then I think we can do a side quest or something. Then I think that can uh, get, us, get us the needed stuff for the mount. I had a blast playing this yesterday. I'm really enjoying this, actually. I've been having a blast with this game. I'm loving it. Uh, 
So I thought, you know what, we'll continue today. Have a little daytime break from Honkai. Um, I've got, I've actually, I've got to the point now on Honkai. I've got the trial to level up my equilibrium. So we'll do that in the next stream. I was just doing a bit of a, a galaxy, so just for some trace materials and uh, trying to get some better relics for Sushang as well. Just put it on auto battle while I was tidying up a little bit. So uh, we'll get back to that as well. And uh, yeah, Snow Break Containment Zone tomorrow, chat. I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, I did enjoy that game when I played the start of it, but it looks like the gameplay update is quite nice. So I'll be checking that out. Um, and I think uh, there's like a, a whole new horny update to the game as well. So we'll have a look at that as well. Should be fun. What's going on, Warrior? This is Final Fantasy XIV online. It's the MMO Final Fantasy. And we're right at the start. We're a noob. We're, we're brand new. We're a little sprout. You can see next to my name. You see the little sprout? That basically means I'm a noob. So everybody around me can go, oh, yeah, that dude doesn't know what the f he's doing. So, yeah. No, no expectations, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, let's have a look at... I need to look at my journal, yeah? I think it is. So that's... This is what we're currently... Currently got, I think. Faint and Strike, I think, is the next one we, uh, we need to move on to. Um... So the, the 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 quest we need to get to is Call of the Sea. I think the one we were just doing was um Hold up. Let me just look on the quests. I think we just done high we we, we got high society to do. Yeah, yeah, so High Society, and then we have three more quests to do, and I think we get our moot then. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Need to get a bed a bit quicker, man. All right, then. Let's do this. Where are we going to? We need to go back to Limsa then, do we? All right, let's go do it then. Let's go show the racks aligned box to Baderon. Should we just TP over there? Ah, it's not that far, actually. We'll have a little stroll. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. I'm just going to alert Pig's got to do some chores and feed the dogs. No worries, Gremlin. Appreciate you on the lurk mode. How's the stream looking as well, chat? We're looking all right. We're looking all right, are we? We're looking nice, crisp. We're shining all right. And we're looking okay. If you're in Twitch as well, just double check for me if you can, just to make sure you guys have got the transcoding options as well. So that's clicking on the little cog and, you know, the resolutions, the different resolutions. So you should have, like, source 936p, 720, 460, 480, 360, 160, I think it is, or 180. Whatever, just the different resolutions, basically. And if you're on YouTube as well, guys, the three dots to the top right-hand corner of the screen, if you're on mobile, click them. Brings up the little uh, option to hit the thumbs up and you'll like the video. Very much appreciated. And obviously, if you're on desktop, hit the like. I'm hoping to have YouTube streams ready for desktop soon. The only reason I haven't been doing them, because when I'm trying to stream to shorts and YouTube desktop, for some reason, the videos are getting uh, demonetized, which stops them getting recommended, as far as I'm aware, which sucks. So I want to try and figure that out. To I don't know if I need to change the titles or the metadata, so that they're, they're appearing as separate streams totally. So I don't know if YouTube's thinking, wait a minute, this is being copied from another stream, even though it's it's my stream. So, a bit weird. But I guess it is what it is. All right, let's get to the training winch and go speak to Baderon. I'm going to have a sore throat today, man. I think he's getting back into streaming and all the talking. My voice box not ready. Been to see Nassim, have ya? Let's have a, that box then. Let's have a look at that then. There you go, fella. Here we go. Nice pair of dress shoes for you. A bloke might have uh, much else to his name, but so long as he's got decent pair of shoes on his feet, there ain't nowhere he can't go. Think of him as a gift from me and all the other folk you've done right by along the way. 
Aye, aye. It is a very mo moving gesture, I know. Just don't go welling up on me, eh? Wouldn't do for Limsa's new hero to turn up at the banquet soaked in his own tears and snot. Any road, that's your garb sorted. Now you just need to settle your nerves. Tell me when you're ready and I'll get you where you're meant to be. To go. Alright, let's go then. So we, <laughs> we got some shoes, Eddie. Do I need to equip those shoes then? I'm guessing, guessing so. Alright then, where are we going then? Do we need to speak to Vader on again then, I guess? I've already put the shoes on anyway, dude. You ready then, are ya? Good, the banquet will be starting soon. If you'd waited any longer, I'd have considered it my civic duty... Uh, civic duty to eat you over the head and drag you there. Now, make sure you're wearing them fancy shoes when you turn up, alright? Carrying them won't do no good. They're meant to make you look like a gentleman, remember? Not a gentleman's bleeding lackey. As for directions, the feast's being held on the bridge in Admiral's briefing room. Speak with Zan Xanthiel in the Bulwark Corner. He'll show you the way. Dude, I don't, how the hell, like, considering, like, what we're wearing, how are the shoes going to make it so, like, yeah, all right. Let him in. He's got dress shoes on. <laughs> Just keep that head held, oi, lad. After everything you've done for Limsa, it's a good reason to be proud, and don't let no eyeborn bugger tell you any difference. That was gone on Mystic Knights. Uh, FF14 is an absolute favourite game and I've sunk more than 10k hours of my life into it I randomly stumbled upon your stream glad to see you enjoy and wish you the best for the long term journey ahead well thank you Mystic um, yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far I am brand new but uh, so far I'm liking liking what I've got I'm gonna, I think I'm going to upgrade to the uh, the full version over the weekend and then probably purchase the, the DLCs at some point I don't think we need to necessarily worry too much about that at the moment Dress shoes, fancy dress shoes, and adventure wearing fancy dress shoes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those are some fancy dress shoes. Come, adventure. I will show you to the briefing room. Don't mind the axe. We've got dress shoes on. Everybody else is just dressed normal, aren't they? Dude, I've got some huge forearms. The size of them. I could strangle a bear. Brothers and sisters of the sea. Oh yeah, I forgot. Join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. Well, shucks. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. I keep forgetting to click onto the next one. I'm used to playing like pretty uh, on card just lately when you put it on the auto. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen. Who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal. Oh, just based on able auto play, does it? Ah. Nice one, dude. Appreciate you. From what we have gathered, so that just auto now. Swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough. Will that just be the cut scenes? It won't be for like just a text chat, will it? I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But thanks to you. Our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. Why, oh, thank you. This is one of the crystals of Damn light. Damn, man, the Admiral's got some massive by the navigator. titties. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not, of a towering crystal? I did. You bathed in her light. 
The Ashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. Am I a chosen one? You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations, as once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the Must admit, the cutscene at the start of the game was pretty badass, When so. the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle... Dude, the Lalafels cracked me up, man. ...how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Playing as a tank as well, Whenever which we try is not really my thing. Don't ever play as a tank, so... I'm not giving it a whirl. I know you can switch jobs easily and in this game, like, though. Whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, Naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. How does she remember him, though? In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer. I did your legend for let me know about the autoplay. Speaks. Oh. Is that from the start with Bahamut? Flames to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. So are these the warriors of light then? There's somebody on the hill over there. What's this dude? Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. It was clearly something. Oh, oh, bloody hells! The barrier won't go down so easily. Eyes forward! That was pretty epic. Is he still there? We are being watched. Why did she say there was nothing wrong at first then? He's dodgy as hell. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! She got a phone. Oh, this is 
respond. Ryder, this is Raging Bull. What news? Dude's armor's badass. We're surrounded by a blaze. The There's arm plates. No God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. Mad snake! Mad snake! <laughs> snake! Snake! Dun 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 dun. How long ago was the calamity then? Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! I love the over the top gesticulating. What of the barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Spam the DMs. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Soir. Louis Soir. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be sure no answer. victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delayed previous That's orders. a true leader. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back, effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All are these are people then? These two, are they? I don't care if our lake cells are useless. The admirals of the other cities, because you can you start off in other cities, can't you? Know? Of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit. <laughs> Fucking roast him, bro. The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. <sighs> this dark, stifling presence. So this is like the in-law ending of Final Fantasy XIV, the original version, yeah. Because it was ass, apparently. We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Yo, what are you saying, man? You good? Hey, what's going on, Saki? I think. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Logalo Asawad Deacon Bed Mubut. Imarat way. Kiss Katoga Hats Wadu. You pissed, why? Seize the gem. Feast on the only lamb rides at thy dawn. These are like Death Eaters. <laughs> nice to meet you too. You're from Indonesia? Ah, oh, cool man. What happened? Ah, uh, you don't remember then. 
You killed over in the middle of the banquet and caused a right stir. Had to carry you back to the wench myself. Well, I say carry. It was more of a matter of dragging and rolling. Too much cake, I reckon. And you're old. Don't fret. It is little wonder you're exhausted after everything you've been through lately. Yeah, I need to get them shoes off, man. They look ridiculous. Your little nap seems to have put some colour back in your cheeks. Though, so I'll leave you to it. I'm from the UK, England. Bugger, I almost forgot the Admiral wants to have a word with you. Pardon me. When you feel up to it, talk to Xanthiel, and I'll let I'll let you into the command room. Oh, and stay awake, eh? I'm told old Merlwib was in the middle of telling you a story when he started snoring last time. <laughs> I doubt she'd look kindly to it if you repeated the trick. Why weren't you pissed for airs, man? What's happened? Oh, what's it? It unlocks in a few hours as well. Let's get these shoes off. this you're not authorized to summon the aesthetician what's that for changing the look oh is this like my room or something the orchestrion can be used to change the music in your estate or in or room but only if you have uh, first obtained song rolls rolls can be obtained throughout a variety of means including synthesis purchasing the shops and discovering treasure or coffers after obtaining a roll use it to add to the track on your orchestrion list Accessing an orchestrion will open the settings interface. From here, you can listen to any tracks you have registered, as well as select that track to play in this in your estate apartment uh, or apartment. Shared estate background music can only be changed if you have been granted the proper authorization. A feature unique to orchestrions in estates and apartments is the ability to register tracks to a playlist. Up to eight songs can be registered to a playlist, which can then be played in order. Shuffled or a single track can be selected to play on repeat. Playback options for playlists can be accessed via subcommands or the buttons found at the bottom of the playlist. Okay, yeah, cool. Have I got any? Uh... Only display roll. Yeah, I've got none. <laughs> Glamour dress hours is this to change the way I look, is it? Okay, we haven't unlocked any of this stuff. Alright, let's bounce then, let's bounce. Trying to sort garden and next door. Uh, next door smoke and the smelliest dank smells absolutely fire. Dude, it's the worst, isn't it, man? Like, I'm glad my neighbours have only just moved in. Because, like, he, he smokes as well next door. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, the life's very quiet. He, he smokes as well next door. Right, try turning your volume up. I mean, the volume level's okay. From what I've, uh, I've checked, anyway. Uh, anybody else? Is the, is the stream sound? Is it quiet or loud? Where's this command room? Is it downstairs? I think it's downstairs, though. Am I just like looking straight at it? Let's have a look inside just in case. Volume's fine. I was gonna say, I, th I, th I thought so. Check the levels before we went live. I think you might have your volume down, maybe. Yeah, push through it as you got this, man. Let's have a look downstairs. Greetings, Pixel Admiral Blofuisrin. How are you? I, I can't pronounce that. Uh, you in the command room. Shall I announce you? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Metal Vib. Ah, Pixel, it is good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered? Then let us waste no time. I have a task that needs doing, one I would entrust to no other. I'm special. I'm going to get away from the smell. Fair play, fair play. See, man, it's got to push through. Like I said, that first couple of weeks, man, and rough. Personally, there was. And, like, you will still watch it for, a, like, a couple of months. Be like, well, you know, you just gotta, it's got to push through it, man. I'm telling you, your pocket will appreciate it for sure. Like, way more money. The duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. I do hope you have not made other plans to business, then. 
Once you've had a couple of weeks, man, you'll have to, uh... Watch it, man. Link up, go for, a, go for a beer or something, go get some food. I've penned a letter to each of my counterparts in the Aussie Alliance. The Battle of Karnatu... Kartanu, and the calamity that followed the cl claimed countless lives. It has been five years since those of us who were spared dragged ourselves from the ashes to look upon Eorzea, we scarcely knew. Five years, and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship, and worry the warriors of light who might once have given them hope are gone. Yet we must press on regardless. We will never truly do so, however, uh, uh, however till we have faced our past. To that end, I am proposing a memorial service to be held in each of the city-states on the 5th anniversary of the Battle of Cardinal. These letters contain the details of said proposal. Um, I think, is it Sagittarius, I think? I'm not 100% sure, actually. And I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. You have proven yourself a staunch and able ally to Limsa. But that is not my only reason for choosing you. No, I choose you because you possess a quality which puts me in the mind of history's champions. A quality I feared loss. Say that you will perform this duty. I thought I'd... Uh, um, jumped into the... Uh, I think it was a Moogle one. I'm going broke from eating. <laughs> Dude, I spend way more money on food now. Especially because I'm training. Like, I I'm buying like, a lot of like stuff like chicken, tuna steaks, salmon... Like, it's ridiculous. I knew you would not disappoint me. This task shall take you far from the borders of our nation to the city-states of Gridania and Uldar. A grueling journey, to be sure, where you will travel by sea and land, but I mean to have, uh, I mean to have you take to the skies. Ooh. Airship time, is it? An airship pass to be used at your discretion. Sweet. Airships bound for the nations of our allies leave from the landing connect uh, leave from the landing connected to the bridge. But before you depart, I suggest you trouble Badaran for a few pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard is nothing if not well travelled. It is a pity I cannot issue such passes with freer hand as I did in more peaceful times, when births were not so limited. But in these times of war, every craft we commit to the clouds risks drawing the eye of the empire, and every voyage must uh, must needs to be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, I consider your place well deserved. Nor am I alone in the, that, that opinion. There were other parties who would see you gran granted the privilege of air travel. Yeah, dude, I usually have two poached eggs with most meals. I do know. Two poached eggs? What? You're talking 13 grams uh, protein and egg? Easy, quick 26 grams of protein. Uh, you know, 200 calories. Well, 148 calories. Good stuff. Aye, Pixel, your deeds do not go unnoticed. Them things don't either. Full many see great, uh, full many see great, full many see great promising you, for I have flattered you enough. On behalf of Limsa Laminsa and her people, I bid you go forth, adventurer. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either, from either. Only by braving the unknown will you achieve the greatness of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that your destiny will be no small thing. Hopefully not. Bum, 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 bum. And the, I think it's pretty soon. I was watching a video yesterday, I think. The, I need to do the Call of the Seas quest or something. Join a company, and then I can get a mount, I think. Or I have to do something then to get a mount. Yeah, do you check which... Is this the server I'm on at the top right here? Current current world, home world, Sagittarius. You just have three or four eggs and a slice of bread. Yeah, man, good good protein, that is there. I like a good poached egg, man. I used to have something like, I don't know, like sometimes I'll have just some noodles, bang, couple of poached eggs on top of it. Chicken, bang, couple of poached eggs on top of it. <laughs> you just chuck them with anything, really.
Back from your medium in the Admiral, are ya? Personal bleeding envoy? So you'll be carrying the world on the Admiral carrying the world and the Admiral herself to the leaders of the Alliance. Bugger me. I knew he was going up in the world, but I didn't realise you'd get that bloody eye. I'm proud of you, lad, thinking of how far you come. Why, it is enough to bring a tear to me eye. And that ain't the ale talking neither. Well, not just the ale at any rate. I know he's out catching a bit, bro. Bless the navigator for steering you my way. Of course, this is only the start. Now you've got your hands on an airship pass. All, the whole of yours is laid out before you, like a fair maid on a feather bed. And she's a big girl, too, with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies. <laughs> If you think us Lemonsons are characters, just wait till you cross paths with the grim forest dwellers of Gridania or trade coins with the crafty merchants of Uldar. And then there's the wild places where the beasties rule and no bugger with an ounce of sense sets foot. Well, that's where we want to be going. But you're a venturer, so I wouldn't let a little thing like that hold you back. Of course, it ain't all exploring and excitement. There's a heap of troubles what plagues every nation, see? Tank just there as I'm talking. Intrigue and infighting, beastmen and their god god's damn primals. Hey, there's an ugly side to life, and sooner or later you're bound to walk into it. But I'll wager there's bugger all out there as you can handle can't handle. Someone tells me you're gonna be just fine. The realms had it rough, tis true, but folk beginning to recover from beating the calamity delta. The beating the calamity delta. Call me an hopeless optimist, but it wouldn't take much to turn things round. It's so hard to read sometimes, but I don't know what it is. It is the perfect time for a venturer like yourself to get out there and make a difference. Well, what are you waiting for? All right then, speak with Noplo at the airship. Dude, oh, the, the, the names, man. The names. These guys have a little dance party. The names are just too freaky much for me. Feel like I'm legit having a seizure when I try and uh, read the names. Journal. The lemons, lemons of hello. What? Uh, Did we just become best there. friends? Yep. Yo, Alibus, thank you very much for the follow. The lemons and envoy. Okay. That's just downstairs yet. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Oh, okay, you you come over to Twitch, have you, Mystique? Welcome, welcome to the purple side. So, yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade for PvP as well, well aren't I? I think you get, is it level 30? I was watching a bit of Zeppler talking about it yesterday, I think. You need to get to level 30 for PvP, but obviously I need to upgrade to the full version first. Wait a minute. Oh, the airship landing's up top, I think, isn't it, actually? Yeah, you can see a little bit more of what's going on over here, because I'm only streaming in the shorts format on YouTube. I'm hoping to start streaming properly on there as well as the shorts format, but at the minute, uh, whenever I try and do both, the YouTube keeps demonetizing both videos, and then it just stops them getting pushed out to people, which is kind of annoying. So I'll try and figure it out. Greetings, sir. This is the count of passengers travelling to Gridania. Wait, aren't you that famous adventurer? It is Pixel Tree, isn't he? I thought I recognised you. You are an inspiration to us all, sir. Highwind Skyways is at your disposal. Will you be travelling with us today? Let's do it. Love a bit of airship action. Up on the gangplank, board the airship. It's only a small one, isn't he? Speaking of, I need to get back to Final Fantasy XII again soon. Started playing it again. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Gridania is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. It's 
pretty cool. I love Final Fantasy vibes, man. Final Fantasy IX is still probably my favourite game ever. Well, not ever, but it's, in my, it's probably in my top five. Definitely in my top ten. It's for sure one of my favourites, so. Along with like Mass Effect 2, uh, Last of Us. Good fortune to your pixel. The day will come when your name means the same as hero to the folk of this realm. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Badaran's chill still. Good guy, Badaran. Or Badaran. He's badass. Now that's an airship. These look, these kind of look like the uh, the judges from Final Fantasy XII. It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till lay ripe for the taking. And all of Eorzea would soon This is a badass cutscene. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the dread serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship is lost, and all hope of victory with her. So ended our glorious conquest. That is a badass scene, that is. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. This dude looks fucking sick. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Dude, his armor is so freaking cool. Can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses. I want that armor. Ignorance. We are on one Sick could see your ass. That dude with the red helmet looks pretty badass as well. Check the big guy as well. What the fuck? Has he got shield gun arms or something? Yo, what's going on, DJ? Yo, what's going on, JD? Is that a fucking alien? Look like Xenomorph. Dude, the ship designs are really quite unique. They're cool, they are. I'm in very good, yeah, dude. Thank you. Hey. Is the Legatus really planning to take another Back at George doing the dishes. Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? 
I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. So it was only Eorzea affected by the calamity then. This dude looks like he sleeps with my, his sister. My lord. Please call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Otho, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. That was he a spy or something? I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. That sword that he's carrying looks badass. <laughs> he got fucked up. Oh, it's a gun sword, a gun blade. this mess. And do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. You betty, you betty. I haven't, I haven't watched that, you know where so I need to watch you. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek. I've just been bashing the gym dude recently. Lost like a stone and a half in hitting the gym hard as well. Who is he? I I don't know. I'm uh I'm seeing these guys for the first time. He looks like that actor though, man. I forgot his name. From back in the day. The planet is bigger than yours, yeah, uh, but the calamity happened in yours, yeah, right, okay. Let's move the ser serpent honor guards. Uh, this place looks cool. Big style change. I'm guessing I need to speak to her, yeah. Ah, you must be the envoy from Limsa Liminsa. Welcome to Gridania, sir. The elder seeds here await your arrival. Leave the landing area, yeah. This is Final Fantasy XIV online, JD. I'm just playing the free version at the moment, but I am I'm gonna upgrade soon. Greetings, good sir. But well, there's plenty of stuff to do. Hundreds of hours worth of content uh, for free, really. It's kind of sick. How's life for you anyway, though, DJ? You're good. You are the Lamington um, Envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray, make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nafika's altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand where the Elder Seeds here awaits. Right, to the conjurer. All right, let's go. Present Merlewib's missive. Wait. I'm going out this way. This is a proper forest town, isn't it? Alright, we'll come speak to him in a bit. Old Gridania. The Black Shroud. What was that? One or more of my current settings? What? I missed that. Where am I on there? I don't even see where I am. Okay, so I'm in the right direction. God's quiver bowl. I 
We've got some side quests to do there as well. So we need to get to the, the call of the sea. I think it is, don't we? To unlock mounts. You can get mounts on the free free version, right? I think you can. Oh, yeah. Good good call. Forgot that then. Totally forgot that then. Thank you for reminding me. You do missions. It's an MMO. So, uh, there's lots of stuff. There's PvP. There's uh, main quests. You know, you've got your side quests. You've got crafting. Uh, you've got, like, um, dungeons, raids. All that sort of stuff. Standard MMO fare, as, as far as I'm aware. Like I say, I'm, I'm totally new to the game. Can you say happy birthday to Santino? Well, happy birthday to Santino. Happy birthday, mate. Just down here. There oh, we are. This place is quite pretty, though. I like it. The Silent Conjurer. You are the Lamimsen Envoy. Begging your pardon, sir, but might I expect the message you bear? That is the right one, yeah. That's the other. Verily, this is the seal of the Admiral of Limsa Laminsa. Please come with me. Oh, it's her. So it was all the uh, so you are the leaders Laminsen of each city. Envoy. And an adventurer besides. The realm owes much to you and yours. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Why, thank you. Please. Look at the size of me. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Bredania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder. Our nation's grand company. That's what I need to join, yeah. The grand I company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral. I do. I need to uh, turn that off when he's not watching. To think that five years have already come and gone. It seems like only yesterday that the Galilean Empire attempted to seize all that we hold dear. Rising in resistance, the city sites of Eorzea formed the Grand Companies and joined hands in alliance. But unbeknown to us, the Galileans sought not to best us in battle, but to, to but moved instead to enact a terrible plot, the Meteor Project, by which the lesser moon, Dal Dalamud, will be torn down from the heavens to annihilate all life below. Jeez, man. In a desperate bid to save the realm from certain destru destruction, our forces marched for the Cartoon Flats, and there met the Voil... The, the Voil. The uh, Seventh Imperial Legion. <laughs> the Voil Imperial Legion. The Seventh Imperial Legion. You dumbass. More, not, more bloodier battle I have never seen, and would never wish to see again, yet the carnage was but a prelude to the atrocity which followed. For despite our best efforts, Dalamud continued its descent, and from it emerged Elder Primal Bahumat. Is it Bahumat or Bahumat? Bahamut, Bahamut, I've always said Bahamut, Bahamut, uh, who proceeded to rain fire upon Eorzea. The 7th Imperial Legion was consumed in the blinking of an eye, while our own forces feared little better. That any among us was spared defies explanation. All seemed sure to perish. As the flames converged upon us, I prepared myself for death, only for a brilliant light to envelop me, relieving me of my senses. When I uh, last, uh, when last, at uh, last, I awoke. Bahamut was gone, and the land which had been moments before being aflame now seemed to me a place unknown, not simply ruined, but changed. Archon Louis Schwa, mate, dude, what? It's gone really sunny. That looks really pretty now. That does. That was really nice. May well have been able to shed light upon the uh, these mysteries, where he, like so many, never returned from Cardinal. But don't get me wrong. This game's showing its age now, but that looked lovely when that did that then. And, we, and so we were left with countless questions and no prospect of an answer. Yet such matters did not long occupy our thoughts, for we had far greater, graver concerns. 
The calamity as the devastation wrought by Bahamut has come to know to, to be known laid our nations nigh to waste, and to this day we struggle to rebuild our lives and homes. To compound matters, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals while the Empire encroaches upon our borders, consolidating its foothold in Eorzea. The outlook, in short, is bleak. I love it when more stuff's voice acted though. Makes my life easier when I'm streaming. In the wake of the calamity, it has been it, it has been all each all nation all each nation could do to ensure its own wounds, to nurse its own wounds. Yet if we are to weather the coming storm, we must needs stand united once more. A remembrance service may well present an opportunity to rekindle the spirit of which first gave rise to the alliance. I wholeheartedly approve the Admiral's proposal. The necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridania. Ramory Board doesn't have much voice acting, but most of the main uh, MSQ is voice acted in the in the franchise. That's good then. Yeah, just like because I don't like to just let the text roll when I'm streaming because like you know people are just chilling there. They can listen to what's going on, especially if they're on the phone and they're not reading the small text. But at the same time, it kills my throat. I look like a badass uh, mage though. There. This place is gorgeous though. You have done the people of Eorzea a fine service this day. And I would not put you down to further trouble. I shall see that my reply reaches the Admiral Anon. You, meanwhile, are bound next for Uldar, are you not? Are we going straight there? Please send the flame, General, my regards. Ah, and if you would be so kind, I should appreciate if you would inform him that a pet of mine has been ill, behaved of late. My wolf, to be precise. Needless to say, he must be brought to heal, and I would very much welcome the General's counsel on how this might be achieved. I'm a little wolf. I thank you for coming. May the 12 see you safe to Uldar and beyond. We're getting back on the plane then, are we? Okay. Speak with the Leonelays at the airship landing. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. This place looks cool though. Like I say, even though the game is really showing its age, it's still very aesthetically pleasing. It's pretty. Nice god rays there. Yeah, this place is better than Laminza. I like that. I like it more. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The game is actually getting a graphics update in the summer with the launch of Dawn. I saw that. Is that just for Dawn trailer? Or is that like the entirety of the game? Greetings, sir. This is a count for passengers travelling to Uldar. Oh, I, are you not Bigs of Tree, the Lamindsen envoy? On behalf of all at Highwind Skyways, may I say what an honour it is to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? Yeah. So yeah, tonight as well, chat. We're going to be playing No Rest for the Wicked. And then tomorrow... We're probably going to play some Snowbreak and Tame and Zone just to check out the update. Probably along with a bit of Hong Kong Star Rail as well. And then I we won't I, we probably won't stream tomorrow evening because I'm probably going to watch the last few episodes of uh, Fallout. And then the weekend we'll be bashing some of this um, and probably some Hong Kong as well.
the steps of Nalt. Even though we like early gear, I like the look of my gear. I don't know, there's something about it. Arrivals attendant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to read all that stuff. Flame on a god. Welcome to Uldar, sir. We've been expecting you. Flame General Rauba will receive you in the fragrant chamber. Please take the lift down to the Husting Strip and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade. Which way are we going? Oh, yeah. They will update textures, lighting, shadows in all open world areas. They made made new high res character models, and some of the gear will be updated at first. More over time. They didn't mention anything of the old instanced areas, so we don't know. But maybe. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool though. At least uh, the open world areas. Like, not that I... Because uh, I don't mind playing games. Like, if a game's good, a game's good. And, um... Art style and aesthetically, it's pleasing to me. Um, it's just like, you know, it is showing its age a little bit. But I'm, I'm cool with that. Um... But, a, a Texture pack would be very nice. Because that's one of the first things I did when I first played. I was looking and then... A little, uh... A little uh, look on Reddit and people talking about how... It's a lot bigger of a job for this than people realise. Because they hadn't actually got... Um, original high uh, res textures um, so a lot of it needed to be overruled entirely but that's cool though the Lamins and Envoy I presume would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear sir there you go fella ah yes the Admiral's seal please proceed Cheers, Bart. Ah, a guest from Limsa. I nice. thought I smelled stale ale. He's talking. I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Mervyn says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Sahagin. Welcome to the Sultanate of Uldah. I am Rabban al-Din. General of the oh, really, were they? Flames. That makes a lot of sense, then. But you did not come all this way to so when did this game come out? Like, 20, 2010 initially. The original 14. Because, like, it came out, and then they, they, they dropped the game, didn't they? And re-released it as a Realm Reborn, didn't they? That's what the whole Calamity... I think that is what the Calamity is, yeah. It's all, uh... The law canon version of what, what happened with 1.0, yeah. Yeah. Of how like the the the, uh, the realm was like reset almost to make way for the new version. Do you know what happened that day, adventure? When we took the field against the Gollians? So my counterparts have educated you. Hmm. Canny's pet is giving her trouble, is it? Well, she should already know my mind on that subject. Wolves are beyond taming. It is but a matter of time before they bear their teeth. So it was with the Garleans 50 years ago. So it was 50 years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitech than they began seizing territory. Oh, okay. So this is when... Okay. Led by then Legatus Solus Zosgalvus, they swiftly brought the other nations of Is 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 Isabard to heal. And so the Legatus became the Emperor and his Republic and Empire. So they, they do the scene. They're very much like the Empire from... Um, the what's it? Empire? I forgot the name of it. His name from Final Fantasy XII. The one that's got all the judges. An empire which then set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conjuring emperor is now an old man of four sore winters. His health is failing and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Garleans have been quiet of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders. And their commander, Legatus Gaius van Balsar, has long harboured ambitions of conquest. We're here to strike now. I fear we would fall like so. If he were he to strike now, I fear we would fall like so many others before us, and not only Uldar but Gradania and Limsa Laminsa as well. This dude is weathered in battle, isn't he? For the calamity brought the lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up 
We barely have the strength to stand against the best tribes, never mind the primals. They mean to summon. We are a realm divided adventurer, an alliance in name only. Hmm, let me ponder. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The Garleans stir, and the elder seeds here would not let it go unnoticed. All of the companies pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more. That much is clear. And if we are to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Melvi will, will have her memorial. We will honour the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Right on, brother. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? Uh, probably Sultana. Sultana. Sultanate. Sultanate would be better. Sultana. <laughs> I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Admiral will have my reply. My thanks to you, adventurer. <laughs> you can now make use of the airship routes connecting the three nations. Before you may board an airship, you must pay the requisite fare in Gil. Um, let's present Melwin's missive to bar. Follow me on the hosting strip. <laughs> Do -do -do. I was like, can I uh, accept different class once it was in? Blah, gah, gah. Yo, Neo, what's going on, brother, man? How are you doing, fella? Barthelum has inform information that may be of interest to you. Ah, my Lord Envoy, I trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now, if you don't, do not mind my asking, do you perchance have plans to visit Limsa Laminsa in the near future? If so, I have information that may be in of interest to you. I once accompanied the Flame General on an official visit to the seaside city-state, during which time I became acquainted with Baderon, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Well, the man sent word now just that he has a job for a capable adventurer. I can think of none better than the credentials, and better, with better credentials than you. Baderon would be doubtless be pleased were you to offer him your services. You just woke up, Abia. Well, welcome to the world, Squire. It's good to see ya. Call of the Sea. Yeah, this is what I need to do to get Moon, sure. Or, or that allows me to do something else that allows me to get Moon's. Here are the making main quest is what I need to do. Okay, level 20 MSQ till C swallows all before you can unlock mounts. Right, okay. Don't do that. Chipper is for after coffee. You must observe misery for no less than one minute. <laughs> so we go back to uh, limbs then, yeah? Right, that's all.
Where's the main uh, crystal in this place? You were so focused and said I thought the stream locked up. Yeah, I was just looking through the... Because uh, I got like the wiki up for the game. I was just looking what, what I need to do quest-wise. I want a chocobo. This place looks massive. This is like a proper city city, isn't it? A proper proper city. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the first city in Final Fantasy XII. There's a lot of stuff that reminds me of the uh, Final Fantasy XII in this game. Like the visual style, everything's very similar to that game. Which kind of makes sense, I guess, because development might have even overlapped. Because if this originally 14 came out in 2010, 12 came out in 04, I think, didn't it? So with it, with it being an MMO, I would I would imagine it was being developed then. Sounds like Superman music. That little build up then. Did the missus have a, uh, a teeth done, Neo? Yesterday, in the end, then. Right, then. Let's get back to the... Uh... The landing strip, then. Wherever it is. She got three pulled, did she? Crystal Chronicles ruined uh, FF for Marie. Yeah, no, I, I tried Crystal Chronicles, Chronicles when the original came out. Um, wasn't for me either. Well, I'd probably enjoy it now, actually. I just, I didn't know, I didn't ex know what to expect. I thought it was going to be, you know, a, a, a mainline Final Fantasy. And then I played it and I was like, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Yeah, not for me, I'm afraid. Oh, there's the big one. Oh, this place is cool. Well-heeled youth. Here's a big one. Hey, what's going on, Jamie? He's got a little gobu, gubu. Yeah, dude, the artwork was gorgeous. That's one That's one of the first things when I first played it. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You had to book an eye test. Your glasses broke. Look how they just... Change your glasses. Or do the one there to have an update in case your vision's changed, which makes sense. Because your vision can change over a bit of time, can't you? Um, do be careful with those. Break anything. I should be forced to deduct it from your salary. <laughs> Present the golden airship ticket to Leora at the land uh, airship landing. Well, I need to go there anyway, don't I? So. Am I on the strip here? Which way I'm going? Can't 
Okay, I need to get back to hosting stream. I'm on the merchant stream. I, I, I don't know what the frick I am. I think I came from this way though, yeah. This place is a little bit, uh, what's he? Oh yeah, I could just hit return, can I? Oh, okay. Let's go find this, uh, the landing, airship landing first, though, so I can, um, deliver this. Uh, it, it depends. It can be. It's the lenses, really. It depends on the frames that you got. But you can get some cheap frames, really, if you want to, you know, save a bit of cash. That's it. I need to go up here on the left, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's kind of similar over here as well, really. So that sounds like it's going to kick into the Superman music. Yeah, 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 all about the blue light blocking, man. No, I mean, I'm a godsend for me. When it comes to gaming. Even more so, you know, like when I'm, like, uh, I'm spending a bit of time doing a bit of TA on the markets. Like, when you're staring at charts for hours, man, I swear, it feels like you're going snow blind almost. Or the, 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 the market equivalent. <laughs> Like here is he? Final lift and there if uh, and there is a lift attendant, NBC talk to them and they have uh, they'll take you to the airship landing, right, okay. There we go. Yeah, this place is quite large. There we go. This is a reception desk for the flights paying for the Mandeville Gold Saucer. Before proceeding, I must ask you that you submit your ticket for inspection. Ahem. Do you have a ticket? Yes. It appears that everything is in order. An airship will be departing shortly before the next bell. Shall I reserve a seat for you? No, I'm alright in the minute, thought. You're saying forward slash return, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh... I forgot what it does in your brain now, but it does it, uh... That's why there a lot of people, like athletes as well, will wear blue blockers three hours before bed. Because it, it helps you sleep better. Helps you get into REM sleep better as well, doesn't it? Hold up, second chance. Gonna make one myself a cup of tea, because I'm parched. I'll be back in a moment.
they know. They know. She went to the groomers yesterday, so she's all she's all shorn in chat. See? Oh, bloody. Wait, look, yeah, she's after it in her now. Yeah, Neil. So I like phones at, at the evening are the worst because phones are the worst for blue light, aren't they? Open day. A lot of Saint Jeff. Oh, he's a DIY channel on YouTube. Oh, okay. They're freaking rabbit girls, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's got. Let's go speed it better on then, shall we? It's quiet here at the moment. Excruciatingly excited. Grab that rabbit while they're here to give me a good push. I wonder these things, man. These are cool. Even though I do like my uh, wolf pup, though. Welcome to the Dreading Wench. Sit wherever you like, mate. I'll be with you in a... Well, well, if you ain't the one and only Big Tree. I was told a distinguished venturer might be reporting for duty. Fancy that venturer being you, eh? Just so you're, fa so you're fairly warned, though. This ain't no job for the faint of heart. Things... Things 
Things are liable to get downright bleeding airy. But if you think you're still interested, let me know and I'll fill you in on the details. Basically 400 gil, yeah. I thank you for taking the time to help me out. Now I'm sure you're busy, so I'll come straight to the points. Word is it some suspicious looking buggers have been sneaking in and out of the uh, Satasha Sea Grot, and I need a trustworthy sword to end up north of Alport and find out who they are and what they're up to. <laughs> Mummy. Don't sound like much, I know. But since that nasty business over in Swift Birch, folk have been a bit uneasy. Uh, uneasy. Well, I'll say a bit. It is all they can do not to soil themselves every time they see bloody floor. Uh, every time the bloody floorboards creak. If you would permit me, Master Baderon, I should be happy to elaborate. Oh, it's him. Well, well, if it ain't the Chief Yellow Jacket himself, to what do I owe this rare honor, Commodore Rayner? Come to make, make sure my, my patrons are behaving or just thirsty? Neither. In fact, I came to welcome Pixel Tree back to Limsa Laminsa. It is well you have returned. Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an, of an un unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Alport in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region, the Satasha Sea Grot included. Their search revealed little save that a fam family of curls had taken up residence in the caves, nothing to concern us in short. In light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Tasha again. But with the Sahagin testing our defences daily, I am loath to assign the task to limited force at my disposal, how long it stretches as it is. Thus, I sought the services of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this manner, this matter, would be greatly appreciated. Yo, Milo, what's going on, dude? How you doing, fella? You're good. How's your new job going, dude? All good. Satasha is located in Western Lanosia. For more detailed instructions on how to reach the place, I suggest you consult Vemelpa. She can be found at the ferry docks on the lower decks. You heard the, you heard the man. Good luck to you, lad. I swear the people who created the names are just like doing this to fuck with people. Straight up. I already did this, didn't I? Is it because I didn't accept, I didn't take the trip that it's still there? Do I need to take the trip for it to work? I guess I do, yeah. Just come off work early today, do this week and next week I almost jumping off the fourth floor. In two weeks I have 86 hours. What, 86 hours in what? In, in a, what a space of time? It's way above what I need, but it's because some uh, Oh, you got training, have you? You need to take the, that, the trip that unlocks a massive mini game rabbit hole. They'll keep that in mind. Right. I'll do it in a bit. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this first. We'll have a look, see. 86 hours of work in two weeks. Okay, so full time. Okay. That's not too bad. I thought you was going to say in like one week, man. I was going to say, bro. This way? Yeah, it's same over here as well. 37 hours. Most of the time you end up doing like 40 to 44 hours usually. That's just a job switch here. When you see them like that with a little reel next to that, does that mean they're in a cutscene or talking to somebody or something? See where the game really looks its age is when you're in these areas and the water's literally just... You know, pretty much flat texture, isn't it? You'll hear about the Commodore Rainer's investigation, then you'll want to board a ferry bound for Aleport. Once you arrive in Western Lanasia, though, you'd best pay a visit to the Hall of Novice before we blunder into Satasha. 
The Adventurers Guild runs a hall, and the folk there will prepare you, prepare you, train, prepare you, train with you the skills. Will prepare you, train with you the skills you need to face the dangers and deadly weight of you in the sea grot. The hall is on the way to Stasha, just north of the Alport. Henny Soid and one of their seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. I'm jumping again. Twitch is my battery. No worries, dudes. Yeah, it means they're in a cutscene also where you can tell someone is new in a dungeon so you don't pull a boss. So you don't pull a boss without them. Yeah, everybody who's new, yeah, they've got that, um, like that sprout above the head like I have, yeah. What you got planned today, Neo? More uh, renovation work? Yeah, it's one thing like when I get into some of the dungeons, because I never play tanks ever, because like I just think it's like a stressful role. But I kind of just wanted to try it out, so I'm getting our anxiety, I guess. So I've got to be uh, very on top of my abilities, really. For my, uh, it's your enmity abilities, yeah, to, 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 to pull enemies, yeah. Can't wait for my new mouse to come as well. This is the Hall of Novice. It has a bunch of instant tutorials. I recommend you do them. It gives really decent leveling gear. Right, okay. Possibly I might sand down the ceiling in the master bath. Okay, fair play, fair play. Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the yellow jacket sent word. I hear you are brave. You are to brave the depths of the Satasha Sea Grot. The occupants of those caves are rumoured to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you believe, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions. And you shall need the training here. We here at the Hall of Novice can provide. I strongly suggest that you study with the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. Pardon me. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him and you can register for ex exercises tailored to your particular field of expertise. All right. When you've mastered all that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket, scout at the mouth of the Sustasha Seagrot, and he will furnish you with the details of your duty. Okay then. Speak to the smith then, shall we? Well, well, the mantle of, uh, uh, of adventure does not drape so awkwardly from your shoulders as it once did. But while questing alone certainly brings its own reward, you have, haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some darkened dungeon, stalwart, com uh, dungeon, stalwart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all manner of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and these are the best. And these are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. And such advice holds true for many a formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus, did we construct a hall of novice where we can endeavor, where we endeavor to prepare you for those differences. Here within these walls, we offer burgeoning heroes a bevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. Hall of Novice membership, member, uh, membership guaranteed. Okay, you now have access to the halls of novice. Register for your training ex exercises by speaking with one of the smiths, or select Hall of Novice located under the duty in the main menu. Okay. Avoid area of effect tax. Avoid the red, I guess. Display completed exercises. Oh, that's going on. Avoid area of effect attacks, duty ready. Commence. Okay, let's go. Oh man, that's old school. For this exercise, you'll be learning avoidance. Okay. 
An enemy often tips his hand before a big stroke to save yourself some hurt. You can step clear of the impact. Show you've learned to get out of the way and you pass. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. Prepared to start then, are ya? Yeah. This training exercise is now underway. Watch your opponent carefully. When you see an attack coming, move out of the strike zone. I have to hit him all when just dodging. Time must switch to a new technique. You better change your dance steps. That's the way. Obviously, I know these are simple attacks, really. So, I know I've got to avoid them. With bosses, can I interrupt these sort of attacks like I can with uh, normal NPCs? Was it only work to a, a set level? Are they both at the same time? Keep calm and watch for the signs. Texture is the devil. If I get the ceiling done, I can prime and paint the whole room. Alright, cool. The music man. Outstanding. Learning to avoid the obvious attacks is a skill all adventurers need. Those who insist on standing still won't long survive the profession. And speaking of survival, perfecting each of my lessons will earn you a piece of armor to help you in your chosen role. You can also repeat the same lesson with other masters and be rewarded with the same equipment that works best for students and their comments are. Oh, okay. That's cool. Here's your bonus for completing this exercise. Remember this training uh, on the back the, the field of battle. Oh, the better as well. Let's go, let's go. Some enemies' bosses can be stunned in the earlier dungeons. Also, if an NPC has a blinking cast bar, it means you can interrupt it. Right, okay. Nice one, appreciate it. Obviously, I'll probably forget a lot of stuff, but we'll, 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 we'll start to pick it up. Time will tell. Time will tell. Um... Dude, they're chunky. They are chunky. That's proper armor. That looks pretty badass, actually. Lucky. Okay. Um, let's just speak with the smith again to go into another one. According to my record, you have yet to fully complete your training. You are under no obligation to finish the final exercise, of course. There is much to gain and no to loss. Yeah, man. If I'm going to get good stuff, execute a combo to increase enmity. Oh, so... So, like, following up with the attack that it, like... When he's got the dotted thing ready, that's to say, you know, that's a follow-up, isn't he? So basically, that does that work as a combo then? I didn't realise that increases your enmity. Listen up, novice. When it comes to your place in a party, you're the wall of steel, what takes the enemy hits. We fuck up, everybody dies. Soaking up the pain and keeping your mind safe. That's what you need to focus on most during battle. And cycling through our abilities that let us take more damage as well, yeah. Enmity is a measure of how badly a foe wants to kill you. And it's your job to make be at the top of enemy's list, right? So for this exercise, you'll be learning about enmity and how to build it. Okay. Remember to bolster yourself with defiance before every battle. That'll get you foes and ults, yeah? The best way to establish yourself as a threat is string together some nasty combinations. In your case, I'd start out with heavy swing and follow up with maim. Right, yeah, okay. What I thought, yeah. I did not know that increases your enmity. 
Show me a solid series of blows and I'll consider your lesson learned. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. I love the music, man. These training exercises never underway. Hit that wooden warrior with a combination. Heavy swing first and maim second. Don't try nothing fancy, okay? Oh, okay, if I'm mixing other techniques, right, okay. My bad. Keep it up, lad, you're almost at the end of it. So, I'm always best to hit that first hit, aren't I? My berserk. Which obviously makes sense, because increasing my damage, yeah. Use that combination in battle and you'll build, uh, build all the enmity you need. When facing the single foe, it's the simplest, simple methods that are often the most effective. Easy bonus for completing the exercise. Remember, his training is on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, no what's he? No piece of armor? Bitch. According to my records, yep. What are we doing now? Ex we just did that, didn't we? Oh, execute a combo in... Battle. We're gonna actually be in a fight then, aren't we? You built up Emily in the last exercise. This time you'll be testing that combination on a proper opponent. I've said this before, lad, but it bears repeating. Your job is to soak up the pain and keep your mates safe. He's still standing there. Okay, yep. Yeah. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. I'm just looking at my uh, ability here. I wanna. your opponent with a combination, don't let your, uh, your ally get hit. That's kind of cool. That armor's sick. As you see in combination, the fine way of building enmity. When a party's relying on you to take the hit, you need a reliable method for grabbing the enemy's attention. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. So yeah, we got to make sure uh, <laughs> we are getting those pulls, man, and getting that aggro. Because uh, otherwise we'll be getting, getting, getting people mad at us. Recruit enmity from multiple targets. Okay. Let's do it. This exercise will learn how to build enmity with multiple foes. Have you heard, have you tried using the other power technique? I'll let you go aggravate an entire group. Ah, oh, okay. 
I'll bet it's every bugger within a circle around you. Make sure you're positioned so you don't miss anyone. Right, okay. Are we clear? Yep. Prepared to start then, aren't you? Got the Razor Naga coming at the start of next month as well. We drove power technique to hit all three dummies at once. Failed to carry out my instructions five times, you'll be starting the exercise over. Got a decent bit of range on it, hasn't it? Has it got a, a decent uh, radius, actually? I'm facing more the full sort of bit of positioning. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise, remember? Cheers, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Engage multiple targets. Right, okay. Training against multiple opponents. Use overpower to gain enmity with the group, just like you practice. Be sure that the enemy is only interested in hitting you. Beat every enemy on the field and I'll continue lesson learned. Yep. Man, it looks it looks really good. Do you see how fighting a group calls for different technique? If you want to be at your most be at your most effective, you need to switch your tactics to meet the situation. Here's a bonus for completing. Nice brand new tries. Yeah, man, they, yo, these are, these are good, these are getting some decent gear out of it. Well, like, for me. Execute a ranged attack to increase enmity. Okay, I know I do that. I'm gonna be the tomahawk throw, yeah. Listen up, novice. You learn to establish enmity with ranged attack. In battle, your en enemies won't care no, no for fair. Stroll into a pack of foes and you're asking to get swarmed. As you say, you can pull individuals. Tomahawk technique will be the tool for the job. Rather than blundering into a mob of nasties, you're better off pulling a few at a time from a safe distance. Okay, yeah, yeah. You say just pulling the entire freaking uh, lobby. To beat every enemy on the field, they'll see your lesson learned. Oh, there he goes, man.
Don't get too close, you don't want to fight them all at once. You start to break a chunk away from the group, then grab their full attention with the old player once you're done. This game, tanking seems kind of fun in this game so far. Like I say, I've never really been one to want to tank in any, any MMO. Ever really. Quite fun in this. Situation not always low, but there's often a better strategy than charge. Here's your bonus. Engage enemy reinforcements. Learn how to deal with reinforcements. As light comes to a battle, so you got to stay alert. You notice a few more foe arrive. Don't give in to panic. Keep calm and pick the enemy up with your usual tools. Are they too far away for a combination? Then really, let me tomahawk. Okay. Once you got everyone nice and close, you can switch to old pair to keep that enemy flowing. Right. Feet every enemy on the field and I'll continue lesson learned. Alright, let's go. Yup. I'm gonna be stressed out in a in in dungeons though, I know it ma'am. Right, I was taking down the reinforcements. But well, over him then, yeah? to get more uh what's it done yeah yeah i, t I do tend to use them but uh, you don't really need it in this do you it's all about uh, i say it's, i suppose it's like with most uh, mmos oh, it's all about using them 
in the in the best way. Yeah, to make make sure you 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 basically constantly be able to use them so you can stay alive and keep tanking. Yeah, ready to reinforcements ain't so hard, eh? Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. Nice. It's not better than what we got though, is it? It's really not really. It's got two slots as well, isn't it? Nice. It's got less strength. Less vitality. He's got tenacity and direct hit though. Oh, he's got less tenacity actually. But it does look better. Like, dude, it looks way better though, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on for a bit because he looks dope. He's not really much. Uh... Oh well, I pop. So don't 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 pop your berserk before and like. I can later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The current the one I got better, but I'm just gonna use this for a little bit because it looks cool. It's not a massive difference, so we should be all right. Final exercise, okay. This is it, the final exercise. Have I got a new ability? There is an attack with a power to 100. 100. You need to remember your lessons, you'll do fine. Okay. Actually, put that back Stores on HP. Okay. Let's go. Not keeping his uh, rotten at all, am I? Oh, that arch is about to get fucked. We didn't, we didn't fare very well at that, actually, in keeping uh, them aggro at all, then, really. She got battered at the Zart.
really, I want him to turn his back on them, don't I? Okay, so I'm better spamming that then. All right, nice one. Cheers, appreciate you. The Archer nearly got murdered in that first fight. Like, jeez. That was close. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get better at aggroing them. Complete the courses. A little something to mark the occasion. Oh, what's this? A brand new ring. Oh, yeah, he's... That is better than what we've got, isn't he? Okay, oh, yeah. Plus three, seven, vitality, yeah. Pip that. Splendid, I see you have mastered the lessons of the hall. Henceforth, you are a novice no longer. Well, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Don't get too, uh, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Believe me, my friend, there is no greater thrill than striving alongside like-minded companions to overcome the deadliest of challenges. May the wisdom you gain in the hall of the novice serve you well on your adventures. Okay. Register for all the novice trainers. Ask about the Hall of Novice. Ask about new adventurers. Um, where's the new adventure? Where's the novice network? How do I earn bonus experience? We've found that pairing a new adventure with mentor proves advantageous for both. Fledgling heroes blossom swiftly under a veteran's guidance, and the act of teaching serves to re reinforce a tested champion's fundamental skills. A new adventurer or returner forms a party with a mentor. Both will earn more experience. Points from adventuring activities. The experience points bonus applies until level 80. That's kind of cool, I guess. Activities that award bonus experience include defeating enemies, completing fights, and participating in instance dungeons, etc. Okay. I was just trying to press Storm's path. You couldn't because your instance levels sink you down. So you have only skills that. Oh, okay. I wondered what was going that, that's what happened yesterday, actually. I was fighting a creature, and I was like, why can't I use... I think it was my tomahawk throw. I was like, what's going on? I didn't realise that was a thing. Okay. I knew about this level sync, but I didn't realise that when you sync, it sinks, it removes those abilities that you got at a higher level, which I guess makes sense, really. Guess we'll go, uh... Guess we'll go to... To Tasha then, yeah. Hopefully not get bodied. I'm a bit nervous about playing a tank on... Uh, not knowing anything in this. And like I say, never play tanks, man. It's such a... Such a clutch role. Like healer as well, innit? You fuck up. Everybody's dead. Please tell me you're here on the yellow jacket duty and not some daft sod out for a stroll. I can't take any more of this blasted waiting. You are? Thank the gods. I assume you already know about the ship uh, seen slipping around the Isles of Umbra. We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since that vessel was sighted. Thinking the crew thinking a crew of cutthroats might have a dem nearby. So when we received word that the men on the qu of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Stasha, we were here, we weren't entirely surprised. I've yet to see them for myself, but this, if this lot belongs to those fishback fancy serpent reavers, well, you can imagine the panic it'll cause. The kidnapping, us, kidnappings are still fresh in the people's minds. Anyway, your task is to poke around in the caves and find out exactly who we're dealing with. While you do that, I'll be keeping watch out here, praying you don't spot any blue face tattoos. Okay. Any regular duty has been added to the duty finder on duty support. Duty calls, a dungeon beckons. It's me right there, by the way. Oh, is that you there? Oh, yeah. Your character looks kind of badass. Uh, you went out with a dungeon, otherwise you can kill solo or do it with NPCs. Oh, can you do it with NPCs as well? 
I might, I might roll with some NPCs for the first one, just so like, you know, you know what I mean. I ain't got to worry about. I could not go solo though. To probably work, it to probably like learn me a bit better because. We're playing with other players, I guess. But at the same time, I kind of want to run with some NPCs, maybe. Just to just to get a, a feel for it. That's cool that you can take NPCs in, though. That's, that's, that'll be kind of similar, like, in, in a way. Almost like you're playing, um... You know. Queuing solo matches with other players. Yeah, I'll probably roll with some NPCs. Just to just to get a feel for it. I feel like a bit more comfortable then in doing stuff. Because, like, like I say, I'm a... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and NPCs are like slay monsters, solve mysteries, and defeat the mighty boss lurking in the depths. Are, are, are the MC NPCs actually decent though, or are they like dense? Conquering dungeons is not only a time honoring tradition of adventurers, but it's also pro progress is the main scenario and test your premise at a given class or job at a timed environment. They're fine. Okay, that's okay then. Uh, intimidated? A little bit. Fear not, a dear adventurer, for uh, with a little guidance, you too shall be clearing dungeons with confidence in no time. You may challenge a dungeon via two different methods by calling uh, upon the support of trusty NPCs or by pooling your talent with other players. Be the best friend or first be a best friend or first acquaintance. No matter how you form your party, the trolls that await you will be comparable in difficulty and experience. Oh, okay. No matter how independent and capable you may be, a dungeon is too a mighty challenge to overcome on one's own. By choosing duty support when accessing the entrance of any applicable dungeon, you will summon a balanced team of skilled NPCs. Duty support, okay. Um to support you on your path to glory. Just don't forget them once you're rich and famous, yes? After choosing to challenge a dungeon with NPCs via support, do, uh, duty support, a party that perfectly complements your cu current class or job will be automatically created for you. Uh, that, all that's left is to select register for duty and you'll be battling monsters in no time. They say a burden shared is a burden halved and with a duty finder, you can split that burden amongst a team of players who smolder with the same passion for adventuring as you do. No need to recruit such teammates yourself. The Duty Finder's matching system will automatically group players according to the chosen challenge and other criteria, guaranteeing a balanced, invigorating, cooperative experience for all. Once you've been matched with a party, you will be notified by bracing sound that the time for the battle is at hand. Select commence and you and your com comrades will be delivered onto the fray. Remember the, adventure, the adventurers with whom you are cooperating are fellow players. Take advantage of the full varied strengths and group your group possesses by communicating respectfully and often. As your journey progresses, more and more dungeons will become available until you find yourself master of sea of tribulations. Oh, uh, until you find yourself a master of a sea of tribulations overcome. But don't let c completion deter you from challenging your favourite duties again. Simply open duty sport to play through dungeons you've cleared or use the duty finder to do the same dungeons with not yet supported dungeons not yet supported by NPC party system. No matter your craving, you're guaranteed to find an adventurer adventure to satisfy. While this introduction of dungeons has no doubt been immortalized within the halls hallowed halls of your mind, if you find yourself in need of a refresher, you may access tutorial information again by selecting question mark icon in the duty support or duty finder windows. A true adventurer knows the meaning of duty. Secure your legacy by fulfilling yours. Okay, so I want the duty support then to for NPCs, so I'm not I'm not uh, fucking people over. The character looks dope though. So what are you uh, a range DPS are you? Damn. Level 90? Well, it makes sense considering you said you put a lot of hours into it. That's a healer. Okay. Yeah, I'll say you can just switch through your jobs, can't you? They're just slower than players, but you shouldn't care about that on your first one. Yeah, I, 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 I need to go as... Uh... Oh, that looks dope. I like that one then with the sword and shields. That looked pretty sick. Yeah, your boy's got the flex. <laughs> That's freaking dope. Look at the size of the axe. Nice. Dude looks badass, bro. Yeah, I want to take it as slow as possible because, uh... You know, get my, get my head around things. Alright, it's going to take him on a Kundra, a Thaumaturge, and a Lancer. Register for duty. I guess so.
Okay, let's see how we get. See how we do then. Let's see how we do. If you had to attack the NPCs in your first one, definitely uh, lessens the anxiety a little bit, though. Especially when I'm new on games, I hate letting uh, teammates down. I don't mind doing bad myself sometimes, you know, failing on stuff, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? But, uh, it's when you fuck it up for other people. So I never use a pay tank. <laughs> you know, if your DPS is not great, you can hide sometimes, can't you? Like, well, well, well it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Uh, clearing instance raids. Um, instant raids come with several rules, including time limits and restrictions on changing classes or jobs. Instance areas can be left can be left at any time by using the exit, selecting leave from the duty finder, but doing so, uh, remember that you will be abandoning your party in the process. Exits will also appear after defeating a raid boss, allowing your party easy access out of the area without having to backtrack. Once a boss has been engaged, players will be unable to enter or leave the immediate area. Make sure that all your party members are nearby and prepared for beforehand, lest you incur their undying wrath. If you are KO'd during an instance raid, you may either have a party member raise you or choose to return to the instance entrance. Okay, see. Okay. Limit breaks are powerful actions which are only available to parties of four or more members. The actions can be executed when the party's limit gauge is full. The gauge is located directly above the party list. Right. The limit gauge will slowly fill as a battle progresses while certain acts of heroism, such as curing an ally while they are on the brink of death or preventing an enemy from using its special attack, will cause the gauge to rise quicker. The limit break trigger is located in the actions and traits menu under general. It can be set to hotbar for easy access. There are five types of limit breaks. Single target attack, melee attacks to all targets in a straight line. Ranged area of effect attacks, caster, increased... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, tank, increased party defense, tank, right, okay. Limit gauge length varies depending on the party size and battle type. The more party members you have, uh, f f you have, and f the more difficult foes you have faced, the more options you will have, okay. Where'd you find it? Limit break is in the actions and trace. Okay, I'll just... I can't wait to get my new mouse. Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to. I want to just get my get my head around things first, rather than being stressing about like you know maybe having somebody who's maybe been playing a bit more aggressive and me being like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? To, I just need to really main thing I need to work on is getting my pulls right keeping my enmity up and uh, working on that I need to I definitely need to do some uh, rebinding of my keys though as well Bloody memo. You find a bloodstained scrap of parchment with a message scrawled upon it in faded ink. The captain likes his his seas blue. Nice writing, man. What's going on, Sushi? Is this like some? It's gotta be some bot that has yet, because that's like the last three days I've had a different person come in saying the same thing after watching Zeppelin, MTQ, Arthur, Savix, YouTube recommending me your streams. Go through the list of all the YouTubers.
Yeah, dude, it's... Every day, it's, it's been a different person. Weird, weird bot, though, like, because it's not, like, self-promoting or, you know, trying to push traffic somewhere. It's just... Unless it's somebody who just likes new YouTube streamers sent, trying to send some love. <laughs> Uh, um, new Final Fantasy stream, should I say? Start spamming my overpower a little bit more, don't I really? So is this disabled because it's a too low level here, is it? Because it's grade A, so I'm assuming that's disabled. And I'm, looks like limit break is as well. But we haven't unlocked that yet though, so maybe that's what that is. Interject actually. It's even that's disabled at the minute. We'll, uh, we'll pop that there. We'll oh, just clock three. I've got a time limit, haven't we? Let's stop fucking around. gathered as much. I was just thinking for a split second then with it being grade 8 was it? But yeah it makes sense. Oh, I think it's still alive. Too late on that, really. I'm so used to auto tabbing. I keep against tab for the, the last enemy or the next enemy.
Where did y'all come from? Definitely need to have a little reboy to my keys on. I like this uh, area though, it looks kind of nice, man. So I'm glad I did it with the NPCs, actually. Give me a chance of taking in at least, rather than panicking about my uh, teammates getting butt bugged. Oh, yeah, I'm going that way, yeah. Find a switch, press it. I'm doused to poison. Nice. Gonna get doused again. Need something moving the distance. Inconspicuous switch. Really should try and get him to turn his back to them, yeah. They can clap the cheeks. A hero brass wristlets. They look good. Pink. Yeah, let's equip them. Pink's better than grey. Right? <laughs> Alright, Elevis, thank you very much for the help, man. I really do appreciate it. You're more than welcome as well. Once I've got my head around the game to to jump in and play and stuff sometimes, if you if you want to play with a scrub noob like myself. Um but I do I do really do appreciate the uh, the tidbits and the information. Greatly appreciated. Have yourself an amazing day as well. Appreciate you stopping by the stream and uh, coming over to Twitch also. We can throw this limit, mate. Right? Might have been a bit of way shoes in there, but I wanted to test it out. First rampage.
What you got for me here? London trousers. They're not any better, are they? They're exactly the same. I don't think they look as good though, do they? Oh, is that all the different classes that can... I'm guessing that's Marauder, Warrior, Paladin. Don't know what they are. for a second then my uh my squad had somebody in my squad had died I think I just gotta get my uh my keybinds in a bit more of a, a comfortable setup and I think we'll be uh I think we'll be cooking man. Wise and potion. Dumbass. Nice, nice. The door is locked tight. Oh, there's a key over here. I missed that. Oh, what's over here as well? Dude, look how small I thought with her she is. <laughs> She's so tiny. I was just about to say, where's the hole? It's literally right there. Are these guys being kept, like, kept hostage or something? Bow strikers mitts. Yeah, they're not better, are they? She's got different uh, attributes. We're losing critical hit. Gaining one on direct hit rates, vitality's the same, determinate, we're gaining determination, dexterity we're gaining as well, I guess. Well, the shit out is prepped for sanding. Got a bit of sanding to do, have you, man?
Yeah, they, they do seem the oddest bots, or they do. Those bots are coming to let you know that... I just got recommended. Weird. Come. We got a key for it, though, don't we? We picked up a key. Staff. Well, that's not good for us. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was. We needed to use that key there. Yep, I get to use my nine inch drywall sander again. Yay! <laughs> or maybe it was for the navigator's quarters. Not the captain's quarters. Yeah, dude, it happened again yesterday as well. Totally different. It's, uh, it's like us. It's the weirdest bot I've ever seen. Usually bots are like to self-promote some bullshit. Sell your follows. Promote another channel. Promote another stream. Not to say, oh, I've watched all these and YouTube recommended me. Right? Weird? Seems to be the most um, non-nefarious bot ever. Oh, maybe it's for here. Ah, I reckon it's for here. Really odd one. Broider Gate. I'm not one of them, I swear on it. Looks like it might be a rapey room. What's going on, CC Life? Is it fun? I've been thinking of playing Final Fantasy since people keep telling me the story is great. I've been having a blast of it so far, CC. Um, it's It's been really fun. I, I tend not to play tanks. So, like, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get over my tank anxiety. I'm going to play a tank, so... I'm running my first dungeon at the minute, but I'm running with them because you can take NPCs in me out just so I don't, you know, choke and get my whole uh, party wiped. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Right, Neo? It's like... <laughs> so I'm okay with that. So weird, though, that he's been the same, same thing three days on the trot. It's like... 
never known bots to be like that. So it's usually, you know, to run a bot, you're usually doing it for some sort of a, a fiscal reasoning. Like, you know, you're going to get somebody to come over to another channel or some bullshit merch or something. But so far, I've not really, like, seen much of the story because I'm, like, super early on. But gameplay-wise, I'm liking it. And I'm actually finding a tank kind of fun to use as well, which I never thought I'd say. The parrot. We actually did a decent job of pulling those ones then. So that's a major skill I really need to learn on these now. He's just um, aggroing characters and creeping, keeping the enemy deal. Damage that by nearby enemies by 10%. Okay. Yeah, we never start using that more. Keep my enmity abilities together. You can play for free up to level 70, I think. You can play through the entirety of a Realm Reborn's uh, MSQ. Um, you can, I think you can do some endgame content. You can't do PvP. And uh, you, there's certain other restrictions, but like you pretty much can play the entirety of the game, really. The OG game, anyway. I'm on, I'm on free now at the mini. I'm still right at the side of the game though. This is my very first dungeon, as I say. in a bot, but still, thank you.
Lava light, lava light. Right. Unnatural ripples. What's this? Possibly, maybe Neo. Kind of weird. He just got fucked over. Fishman. What's this? Nothing out of the ordinary. I feel like that's a lie. Something regarding trying to push traffic somewhere, hasn't it? Because the fact that he's mentioning all those names, like. That first dungeon, rolling with NPCs, so you know, probably made it a little bit easier on me. For one, I could take my time a little bit more, but two, you know, humans can be a little bit erratic, can't they? In terms of like, you know, having your little squishies go and run off and just die. That was fun though, I enjoyed it for a first uh, dungeon. Plundered Grimoire from the depths of Orchestrian Roll. That's not good for us, though, is it? Because that's a. Uh... Although, though, it is, because with this game, you can... I keep forgetting, you can just uh... change your jobs, can't you? So it's not like in other MMOs where it's like, oh, you've got that item that doesn't matter unless you can put it into a space that's account wide. Because um, you can just switch jobs. Nothing else here. Cheers, uh, robot friends. Let's go, man. First dungeon completion, eh? I enjoyed that as well. All right, we need to go and uh, speak with Badder on then, don't we? Looking thick in my armor. Looking thick. It's 10 to 3 already. Jeez. Oh, man, I'm so buzzing. Rosie's off tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday. Fuck yes, boys. Fuck yes. The long weekend is here. It'll go by too quick, I know, but it, still, it's here. Right, so we really need to sort out our binds, really, because this is good. Uh, it delivers an attack with Poultice in. It's combo action from Maim. So we want to go heavy swing into Maim into Storm's Path, don't we? So we're going to want that there. Um, I'm thinking we move our potions. Uh, I think we put that there. We do that. Yeah, I think I think we I think we do that. Like, um, put our potions there, so we're not. So likely to use our potions. But when my mouse comes, we'll be able to bind all of this to the mouse. So that'll make a, a big help, really. So, I, I, did I say, Neo? I've ordered a, a Razor Naga left-handed edition. I've got to wait till the 27th for it to be shipped, though, because they only make them in um, periods every, every now and again, don't they? Because they don't make any profit on them. 
So the 27th he gets shipped and I have to wait till the 2nd I think for it to be delivered. So I'll actually get to use a, uh, a more MMO uh, design mouse. I'll just put both mice in because I, I, I love this mouse so I'll definitely be using this when I'm playing other games. But it'd be nice for my memo. I was playing these Guild Wars. Um, Throne on Liberty when it drops. Um, Lost Ark when I start playing that, you know. Ah, right, such a task was on the books, was mind. I'm afraid that ship already sailed, friend. Yeah, it was me, bitch. Fuck off. Ah, uh, might you be the adventurer who's set to the job of investigating Satasha? Hmm. It would seem that the ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbour. None the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. No matter. The wheel will turn out uh, and our chance will come. You got yourselves a little party there, have you? You are right, of course, but there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal. Lofty though it may be. Not a wink of sleep, great leader. Dude, his armor looks badass, though. Want to swap? Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism as will earn us a place in the songs of every alehouse in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as yet unborn to follow our shining example. These seem like the party at the start of Goblin Slayer, man. I don't think she's going to have a, a fun time in the dungeons. Really don't. Do you have such a goal, large or small? It matters not. Only have a star to reach for and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hardship. Keep your eye on the prize and all obstacles will, will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad, would you? Well, goals are as arms and armour for the spirit. I wish you fortune in your endeavours, sir. Oh, they were nice guys, weren't they? They're definitely going to get murdered the first uh, place they go to. It's foreboding. We're going to find their entrail somewhere. <laughs> Back then, are you? With all your limbs and, to uh, and a tail to tell, I'll wager. Look at me, bro. I'm shiny. I'm a shiny nut. Fish bats. And then I was thinking you'd only have to crack a pirate school or three. Seven L's. You turn your back for five bloody minutes and the scaly bastards have set up shop on a bleeding doorstep. Still sounds like you left them in pieces, so I don't suppose they'll be carrying out whatever mischief they was planning, unless they was planning on feeding themselves to the fauna of Satasha, of course. Any old, all's well that ends well. Thanks for shedding some light on this mystery. I knew you'd get the job done. Lad, you always do. Now, I bet you're dying for a rest... But just in case you're not, I was wondering if you might be interested in taking on another job. It just so happens that I've had a request from our sister guild in Gridania C. Seems like my, like the forest folk are in need of a venture out that can get things done. For them to ask for help like this, you can bet the task won't be no skip through a sunny glade. But after that, the way you dealt with their fishback infestation, I doubt it's anything you can't handle. Give us a shit when you're ready. I'll lay it out for you. Sweet, bro. Party finder unlocked. Duty finder allows you to challenge dungeons and other duties with challenge party of other players. Max is your duty to my menu or by choosing the appropriate option at the entrance of any duty. Okay. Probably do a couple more um, with NPCs. And then go from there, like. Entering dungeons. You may challenge a dungeon via two different methods by calling on support event. So I can just do Satasha at the minute.
Realm Reborn, Heaven Sword, Ward, Storm Blood, and Shadow Ringers. Okay. All right. Cool. Let me finish this off first. I only have 700 calories today. And the fuck do you get to a... Uh... Nice old dog. Black Shroud, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, that's gonna cost how much? Fuck, bro, that's a lot, man. How much did it cost me to just fly there? Let's have a look. It's gonna be cheap, yeah. Too tight for that, bro. Far too tight for that. Yeah, that's way better. Good stretch. Let me cut out as well. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, Rez, I'm on uh, no rest later, man. I'm just making a cup of tea. Yeah, I'll make a, make a cuppa. And uh, I'll be on no rest about... Probably about seven, man. Seven and a half, seven-ish. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, if you're still there, it's safe, man, safe. I need to... Let's go do this ticket thing. I mean, this is for the golden saucer, yeah. The airship landing. Oh, that's in, that's in a um, well, Dar, isn't it, actually? Alright, we'll do that in a bit, then. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come take your... Oh, not here to die. Dare I hope that you are the adventurer Bader on sent word about? You are. The matron be praised. And let me to introduce myself. My name is Mune, and the car line canopy is my place. With regard to the task in question, there is a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details and I shall brief you. Yeah, old man. Give me the knowledge. Give me the knowledge. Ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting me, on, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have you have none stepped forward? Who's Louie? 
Yo, yeah, guys, as well, if you want to like the stream over on uh, YouTube and you're watching it on mobile, hit the three uh, dots at the top right corner. Drop a little like on the stream. It's appreciated. And good evening to you too, Bowlord. You need, your need must be pressing indeed for you to honour us with a visit. The good news is your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last and one who comes highly recommended at that. Robin Hood looking motherfucker. Well, thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin and I lead the men and women of God's quiver. Of the God's quiver. Now time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shade, there lies an underground burial site called the Tamtara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gilmoran settlement, but we Gridanians have long in interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been seen skulking, skulking about the Deepcroft and with ever increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Delamont, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past and we leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scare the Deepcroft with, other, with orders to flush the cultist out. Alas, the Calamity decimated our ranks and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the lack the... It, what? The what? The Ixal at bay. The birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear the storm may be brewing in anticipation of this. I have been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelves Wood, lest we be taken unawares. The situation so being, we must turn to others to deal with the lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on you to undertake this task, friend? I got you, bro. I got you. You may, you have my gratitude. Once you've seen to the preparations, pray make your way to the Deepcroft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments, that is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you... I say that like she was going to say something else, but she was just like, like say, keep you safe. Alright then, let's meet with the Quiverman at the entrance of the uh, Amtara Deepcroft. Okay, so we're going out here and then, uh... Onwards. Onwards! Alright, let's go. I kind of want to see uh, how this works and this storm's path followed up like so we got one two three and combos yeah okay I got it I got it central shroud and we'll, we'll uh, at some point we'll uh, do our first dungeon that's with humans I mean, this one's not level one man because I'm not going to be able to Combo it really because it's just gonna die. <laughs> oh, so we're kind of heading straight on, yeah. This area looks cool. In these dudes are too low level to even try the combo out like but lads Oh, that is a fat chocobo. Oh, we've got to go this way. Oh, 
Ah. Oh. Use me gumbo. They're dying too easy. I have returned. Welcome back, sir. There goes it. Maybe these level 12 things uh, won't die straight away. Okay, I kind of like that. That's kind of nice. I suppose that'll be really good for building up enmity, yeah? No, I didn't get it, dudes. I'm going for Jingliu now. Um... Because I've got a guarantee, ain't I? Because I, uh, I lost my last 50 50, so I'm guaranteed. Uh, so I'm going to try and pull for her now. Which I'm going to start grinding for now. Over the weekend, we're going to smash it because um, I was just doing my uh, trace uh, materials earlier. I just had it on auto play while I was doing a bit of tidying up. And I've got to my EQ trial now. So I can do that to level up my EQ. So I can start in um, ascending my characters even more now, past 70. Um, and I, I ascended a bunch of the, I mean, I, uh, what do you call the, I was grinding a bunch of the, um, swords. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I've got like 90 of the broken ones, like 60 of the bigger ones, and like three of the purple ones. I know, right? Yeah, dude. Uh, your pixel tree, I'll take it. Thanks for helping us out, friend. Uh, no doubt the bow lord, bow lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the deep croft and purge it of the lambs at Dalamud. I'm gonna uh, play watch it as well tomorrow for a little bit. Um, Snowbreak containment zone because that's had an update, didn't he? And it looks like they've updated the gameplay and it looks a little bit better actually. And they've got like full on horny mode, like big titty jiggle physics. And they've got like a thing in your house where you like you can you can put the waifus on the bed and then you can like start manipulating the legs and stuff. We're going to check it out just for science because I'm not that perverted that I need to see that, but you know. You guys do, so I suppose we'll show it you. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity and put an end to the Six Astral Era. It's also six days until Aladrino Al is here in Genshin. Yeah, I need to get back on Genshin, man. The cultists took the Lesser Moon Dalamud for their go god, believing that it would deliver them from the devastation. Tonight, I'm going to play a little bit of that No Rest from the Wicked. No Rest for the Wicked. Tomorrow, a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a... What do you call it? Snowbreak Containment Zone and probably some... Um, Honkai, and then I won't stream in the evening because I'm going to be watching some uh, Fallout. And then Saturday, Rose is at a wedding, so I've got all day to just kind of chill. So I'm probably going to get some snacks. We're going to have a longer stream. We're going to relax and probably just going to play a bit of whatever, like, you know what I mean? But we're definitely going to be grinding some um, Honkai because I've got a reason to now. And I can start doing all, like, the, uh, the Forgotten Alls and the, the MLC and the, the, the simulated universe and stuff, like, which I'm looking forward to, actually. And so they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its, its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it served only to stop the flames of their fanaticism, fanaticism. The lambs of Dalamud, Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their lord and saviour, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the deep craft, you may be sure that no good will come of it. For the sake of Gridania and Eorzea at large, put an end to their madness. The Tamtara deep craft is now accessible. Is this a, um, a duty? Oh, okay. Enter the Tamtara with a party of NPCs. Deep craft with a par party of other players. <laughs> I'm going to be up some NPCs again. Get myself a little bit more comfortable. Um, then we'll do it. I think I'm going to lose this ability again and die. I'm going to have to remove it.
Okay, this place looks kind of cool. What the fuck is that? See, I think the next dungeon will do with players. Yeah, so I can't use this at the moment, so... Yeah, we'll switch it out for that. Man, what a pain in the hole. What's that, what's that dude? I'm using my drywall sander with 40 grit to remove the ceiling texture. Uh, oh, yeah, dude, it sucks, bro. It's like painting as well, man. It's just like, it's rough. on the shoulders and the neck, eh? You gonna be playing Wuthering Waves next month, Milo? Oh shit, it's a good job I couldn't go over there. Getting a good shoulder pump though. <laughs> Look at this dungeon. Make him turn the back, so I think they do higher damage. When they've got the back to my uh, party, don't know. Well, they, they, they receive higher damage, should I say? Take it, you haven't got into the close beta as well as Endless Zone Zero, my lord. This is a beta going on at the moment, and I was watching a dude playing it earlier. I pre register for the next one. See if I can get any. So far, the only real issue I'll have to deal with is the, the gang box for the light isn't secured very well. Comfortable. I think next one we'll go with some real players. 
on our team. Bitch. I'm just trying to remember exactly what all this is the one that reduces my damage, right? It's the stun. Um that brings up our enmity, puts him at the top. Eminity again. Um range. Reduce damage again. Okay, alright, okay. I think I am gonna switch them around. Yeah, 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 Put him picking my DM, no son. Let's have a look at the book. Oh, did I not share the streams in uh Discord? Could help if I did that in here. <laughs> Forgot to share that in Discord. I'm a dumbass. Thought I shared that ages ago. Oh, that desktop's nice, actually, dude. I like that. Looks tidy, man. You need to get that mouse out of there, though, bro. You need to burn it. But the rest of it's fucking tidy. I'm liking your colour scheme on your uh, PC as well. It's very nice. It's very nice, actually. Smart. I'll get back to work in a few. I don't want to finish it now. <laughs> Did ya? Fair play. It does look really nice, man. I'm just saying that. It looks legit. I like the colour scheme as well, man. It's tidy. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know you like the trap ball, though. and go fuck yourself. <laughs> you got love you, mate. You got love you. <laughs> nah, it is a really nice setup, though, dude, man. I'm proud of that. Done a good job on it, laddie.
Which I ain't got. We've had that quite a while. You've had that a long time, haven't you? If it's the same one, anyway. It looks like the same one. Yeah, I think I think it's the same one I remember. It looks like it anyway. Level up, baby! What did I get out of that? I don't know what I got out of that at all. Hey, you fella? Well, thanks you. Also, sailing the Pacific and killing sharks. Busy day then. It's good to see you, sir. sir. I really should always bring them to face the other way from the party, shouldn't I? Get the enemy to turn them back on the party and then they can uh, get the maximum squishiness. What did I do to kill him?
chesticles. It's not as good as what I've got. Coming down for training in the next couple of mornings, and that's it. Okay, fair play. Nice then. This one reduces my damage, yeah. And this one reduces my damage. So I've got to stop having these on at the same time. You know what I mean? Like we should we should have this on. And then when 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 it's finished, go on to this. And vice versa kind of thing like. That fan's still going. It's had that bearing gone for a few years now. I'm impressed. I thought it might have gone kaput, to be fair. It's holding out. Barrier. An impenetrable barrier prevents further problem. Okay. Push down in in. Push down in in. to watch as well when I've got my uh my buffs like I I'd see I shouldn't have used that just then I should have waited for that to go and then move on to that one instead of putting them on at the same time wasting because like in, in bigger battles that'll cost me you know what I mean because it's, it's giving me less survivability for uh, uh, uh well it's giving survivability for a shorter period Does that mean we can get through now with the cultist rosary? You shall pass! Then, Thomas. I was not paying attention then. I'm super busy looking at my hot wall. that before moving if I'm going to do it. Got 
Gotta remember to get the enemy to turn the back to the rest of the party. It's all right now because we're playing with NPCs. But I'll probably be getting comments in the in the chat saying these fucking tanks suck, man. Do you not know how to tank, you fucking dickhead? <laughs> and they'll be right. They'll be right. It's a Gandalf. Oh no, it's a mind flare. Amazing. Say so we're getting better at uh, pulling, and then I block that one uh, enemy over there, kicking shit out of him. That's true though, geez. You know it's true. Even if you're doing, it, even if you're playing a decent role, if somebody fucks up on their role, they'll blame somebody else, will they? Which I'm sure after enough hours, I'll be doing the same. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck's everyone getting wipes while I'm over here not pulling anybody? <laughs> Unable to obtain the plundered grimoire, you. What was that? Well, I've already got the same one or something, you say? I missed what that said. You say I've already got it? Fuck them all. Fuck them all. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the dungeons, actually. That was fun. Definitely be a, definitely be a lot more fun when we start doing it with people. So just uh, getting my bearings, really. I think we're... I'm feeling a little bit more confident now, you know? At least maybe on lower level stuff. Just as long as uh, people don't go running off on a, a world one thinking that, you know, I'm going to be able to pull the whole fucking... Um, I'm going to be able to pull, pull the whole uh, dungeon like. So I might move. I might move. Uh, what's it? See, like, I need to get to some stuff where this. Because, like, I'm getting into my head now, the muscle memory that overpowers three. And if I move this back to three, because really it's probably better it being three, because it's like we want a heavy swing into main, into Storm's path. But, like, I'm getting used to using overpowering three now. 
But then again, though, I'm going to have to change everything up anyway when my new mouse comes. Because I can't wait for my new mouse to come now, man. I'll tell you, I'll, I said it before, I'm excited about it. Uh, obviously, I've got a decent mouse. It's a Razer Viper 8K, which is great for first-person shooters and pretty much every other game. And it's fine for this, really. But um, I want to be able to bind a bunch of the keys to my mouse. Because having to stretch across the keyboard. Because I've got freaking scrawny hands, really. So it's just a bit uncomfortable. Um, I think being left-handed makes it even more so. So having a left-handed Naga. I've got like 19 programmable buttons on it. So it's going to make it sweet for MMO. So I'll just, I'll just have both them, of them plugged in at the same time. And then just use whichever one on the fly like. Doesn't create any input delay, does it, when you have two mouse mice at the same time? I don't think it does. I think you're fine. I know you can do it like, but I was just wondering if it creates any input delay. Looks like them both operate in the same point alike. Those mouse buttons really help out for hands with shorter short fingers. Yeah, right, dude. It does, man. It's like I'm there, like, reaching across and I end up missing the key and hitting the wrong key. And then oh, I'm fucking eating a potion when I should be, like, uh, dropping a debuff or a buff on. Welcome back, Pixel. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the deep cross was a success. It was fun. Nor do I expect anything less. Badaron's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as, your, as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Uh, Bowlord Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. It must, it, I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. It's something we can test, I guess. I, I might have to look into it on YouTube as well. I, I don't think it will, but he, I'm just thinking because they're both working the same pointer that that might cause some sort of input delay. Because maybe the system's always waiting for which one's going to be used kind of thing. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides an ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves with predictable consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. Ah, there's gone, and it's all your fault. If you hadn't take, if you hadn't taken an age to heal him, he would still be alive. See, this would be me, but I'll be the tank. This would be my party. <laughs> but I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard pressed in the first place. We should have done more to lighten his burden. Back to the hells of this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving, and it'd be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for the, your healing, but you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though as this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Man, this does sound like a legit party. Uh, this is a, this is a, sounds like freaking WoW videos, man, that I've watched. Oh, and by the way, some parting advice. Get rid of Avair's head, bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hells you like with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's just, it's just, just get rid of it, all right? But wait, don't leave me alone, please. I'm so sorry, Avair. Please forgive me. Or Avery. Probably Avery, isn't he? Scenes like these have become, an, become all too common. That makes a dozen times half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful. At least they can be happy that they didn't end up like uh, the adventurers at the start of Goblin Slayer. You know. Uh, well, uh, Avery, Avery did, but, you know, she's lucky. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventures of your experience. I can send men like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Or is that because you don't care if I return or you think I will? Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Uldar. She seeks the service of a reliable adventurer and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word and I will be glad to share the details with you. Is this another dungeon? New task, uh, first taking a trip, wonderful. I mentioned earlier in the quest, come from the Adventurers Guild in Uldar. Chances she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence you'll pull through unscathed. Nice one. Let's get the airship there, shall we? I'm 
I think this one will try and do with players. We've done two with NPCs. I think it's time for our first time. Lose our V, eh? Hopefully we've got time. It's nearly 10 to. Should be able to do it in 40 minutes. Big Gaza! Oh, I'm gonna a tune to you. Start doing some crafting. Dude, this looks like a very like deserty, tropical sort of area. I bet we are dripping. Dripping. I bet we stink. I'm going to go this way. The quicksand. Mamori. Welcome to the quicksand, friend. I'm a tad busy right now. If you wouldn't mind show, showing yourself to... Judging by your determined expression, I take it you ain't here for the ale. Are you called Pixel Tree by any chance? Min Mino sent word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment. There ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so let's talk business, shall we? Dim, 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 dim. The petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. Gods almighty, another second under that sun and I would have been set afire. A tank and a veil if you would be so kind. This little geezer. Excellent timing, Papa Shan. It just so happens the adventurer will be handling that your petition is here. Bro, <laughs> so this strapping young lad is a much loaded adventurer, is he? Marvellous, marvellous. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. I am Papa Shan, formerly of the Sultan Sworn. I thank you for agreeing to lend us your aid. Mayhap you'd like to appraise, appraise Pixel of his mission? Yes, of course. The petition in the question was submitted by the, an acquaintance of mine at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at the Copper Bell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. These giants are, are of the clan known as the Hec Hecaton... Hec Hecaton... Cheris? Hecaton Cheris? Fearsome creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mine during the bygone throne, Thorn Dynasty. Alas, it seems uh, they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them, and now prowl the tunnels which the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities on the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, my lady. The people of that age used to the, the heck dudes 
to work their minds by way of enchanted helms. They were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will, but as he's off the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the dudes, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mines, lowermost levels. It was so that the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock. Well now, that's got me thinking. I seem to recall here there being an article about Copperbell in the Mithraloi at the fortnight or so ago. He said the mines were being reopened so as to meet the rising demand for building materials. Like as not our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seething. Indeed, that makes them a danger to us all. There will be no mining at Copperbell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is the task which we would have you undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you to put an end to this sorry business. So we were you putting down slaves, then, basically. Uh, God bless you. I feared you might have reservations, but I assure you, you it is for the best. Hmm. In case you don't, no. Copperbell Mines are in the Western Thanaland. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Amagina and Sons is presently at the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Messer, and he knows Copperbell Mines well. It may, it may behoove you to make to seek his counsel. It might, we might not have enough time to do this, actually. Because I, I do want to do it with players, so... Looking for Painted Messer? You found him. So you're the adventurer who's volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copperbell. You got goods, mate. I just hope you got some skills to go with them, because these things ain't pretty down there. The dudes left the place in a right state, and nearly a week after mining resumed. The giant word is Greek, is he? I don't know if you know this, but Copperbell was old when you s when the second old dynasty was still young, and it was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for the rebuilding effort, the concern would have never been thought to reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain's worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many, and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a halt for want of out oh, with, to build with. The stone torches are keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. The hope of the nation's resting on you, friend. Best of luck. Right then. Where are the mines at? Should we take the left and then out that way, yeah? I don't know how long that it's going to take us to finish. So far, it's only took me about 15 minutes to each one. Maybe less than that. Like, it gives you a time limit of, like, 90 on them. Which I think is just for generosity. But it's like, you know, I don't know if, like, one of them might take a little bit longer. Especially with players. You know, like, we might get wiped. They might do some dumb shit. I might do some dumb shit. You remember it from Age of Mythology? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Shit's hard to read. I need to get him out. I think after this we can choose a grand company and then I think we can get him out maybe. I'm not too sure. This area looks cool as well. Look at each area as well that you start at. It's got like all different creatures and everything. It's kind of cool man. Really enjoying this game. I know it's not the best streaming game for probably for me personally, for chat like, but I, I'm, I'm really liking it. Looking forward to playing some uh, No Rest for the Wicked as well later. 
Probably some containment zone tomorrow and some Honkai. And then I think over the weekend, don't know what we're going to play. We might play some Punch Showdown and some PUBG maybe. Feeling a little bit of shooty shooty bang bang. And I haven't played Hunt since the last time I streamed it. And I was having a blast with it actually. A lot of fun. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's four o'clock, so yeah. I think what I might do is just call it there because I want to do this, but I don't want to do it now because I don't want to start it and then have to end the stream. Um, and have to leave, especially if I'm with players, because that will be, I will be a very bad, um, uh, party member then. Um, but yeah, uh, we will be live, probably, I want to say, it'll probably be around about 7pm GMT, so about another three, three and a half hours from now. Um, I'm gonna get Rosie, I've gotta take her to the church in Bilston, because it's going for the rehearsal for her sister's wedding. Um, and then... I'm going to have some tea, get back, and we'll uh, we'll play some No Rest for the Wicked, and hopefully it's really good, because it looks awesome. And if it's trash, then I guess we'll play something else. But hopefully it's not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, appreciate you coming through, everybody who's been hanging out today. Pleasure. Cheese. Appreciate you as well. I'll catch you later, everybody else on the YouTube chat as well, and if you're on Kick as well. Appreciate you hanging out, guys. I will see you later. And if I don't see you later, have a great Friday and an amazing weekend. All right. I'll catch you in a bit. Love your faces.